Hi, I'm Honey, and welcome to another vlog. This time, uh, I'm gonna do Dawnlit and Twilight. Dawnlit is my daughter, uh, and Twilight is my new son-in-law. So I guess I can't say it's just us chickens here anymore, just us chicas, uh, because we uh, we have a new addition to our family, and most of you. At least any of you who watch me on stream are very aware of that. Anybody who keep up with my tweeters are very aware of that because over the last year since they've been engaged, there's been all sorts of steampunk wedding talk. So I thought that this vlog would be a good one to do with the two of them. And I actually had planned on doing a vlog of just Dawnlit, just like I had done of Midlit and, and Joshua, my son. And you know, eventually getting everybody kind of worked in there. Uh, but with the wedding coming up, I just sort of went, you know what? Let's make it a twofer. So that's what we're doing. They got engaged last October. In fact, um, a Twilight talked to me in, in stream chat about, you know, would it be okay if with you if I asked your daughter... Uh, to marry me and he had already uh, we'd already talked on the side I already kind of knew that was coming from the feeler questions um, etc but they got engaged last October and they just got married uh, this last Saturday uh, September 19th and as I said it was a steampunk themed wedding we had it on um, a little train a restored train in Abilene, Kansas, and it was the neatest, most beautiful wedding. We, as far as wedding goes, um, you know, it was it was considered on the down low, the cheap or whatever. Uh, we did a lot of things ourselves. Uh, I'm so thankful and so blessed that our families really came together and and used their collective talents and wallets and all helped cover everything. Um, you know, Dawn's dress was given to her from Twilight's sister. And then, you know, a friend of our family and, and Dawn removed all the beating and she, and, and, and the friend of our family paid to have the dress. Uh, I shipped it to uh, Florida and she paid for it to be dyed. And, uh, and and so it was dyed green, shades of green, lighter to darker in the train. It was absolutely beautiful and uh, quite the process. So Altaria, I believe, uh, huge, huge props to them um, for the dress. We picked out corsets back in January uh, to layer over it. Green and black for the bride, purple and black for the bridesmaids. We found dresses and skirts and tops to go under the corsets all in black for the bridesmaids at thrift stores. And um, my dress was given to me by, um, by a friend of the family when I was in New York on vacation um, that she had worn for her daughter uh, or son's wedding. And, um, and so I got to have that and, and give it another another go at life and it was beautiful. Um, I, I added a corset to it, uh, which was awesome and fun and an adventure in itself. Um, so all these different things, my mom covered the invitations. Uh, his parents made the amazing, spectacular cake. His brother and, and his wife covered the, the food for the train. The train itself was not nearly as expensive uh, as you would think or as most things were and we basically had it rented out for four hours. Um, it was it was beautiful. It was incredible. Um, uh, with two engineers and our, uh, our coordinating uh, person there. Uh, my mom did the invitations. Um, a friend uh, sewed all of the all of the 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 groomsmen's vests were, were custom made everything just sort of came together in such a beautiful way it was unbelievable um so we did most of it fairly chill fairly relaxed over you know over the course of the year is like okay guys we've made my goal what can you know all the bills are paid 
what can I buy for the wedding? And we got, you know, Twilight's top hat or the bridesmaids little little mini hats or Dawn's uh, feathered headdress, which is so beautiful. Um, you know, we just sort of added all these little things, all these little steps in. Uh, we got the the steampunk uh, jewelry boxes, his and hers, and you know, all of the different steps, all the different layers, the flowers, we got to all go together. The girls and I all went to Joanne's and we picked out the flowers sort of as a group thing and we all kind of weighed our opinion on it and, and Dawn sort of arranged them and made sure that she liked the way they looked and she really said from the beginning she wanted uh, artificial flowers for her bouquet so she could have it um, forever. And so we put that together and then we got to spend an afternoon um, with uh, the new mother-in-law, with uh, with his uh, stepmama and we got, and dad, who, uh, who you know, cooked for us and everything and uh and we got to to put together the um we got to put together the bouquets and she did a fantastic job uh she wrapped uh some of the dyed lace leftover lace from the dress from the wedding dress around the bridal bouquet and she wrapped strips of leather and tied gears on to the little individual bouquets that the rest of us carried it was just an incredible experience as everything happened and and I got to admit the last couple of weeks my stress level whoo was up to here I was just freaking out it's like okay okay everything's been going really mellow everything's been going pretty good and all those last minute things like okay well we can't do that till the wedding it's time you know, I was going to miss uh, a fright. I, I had to miss a fright night and that really kind of bothered me because, you know, usually fright nights are, are I, I get steady donations throughout the week, but, but usually fright nights are, if you were to consider a big night, it would be, it would be Fridays. And you know, why not? I would, if I were to donate to somebody, I would do it when they're going to get a scream and get the bonus uh, interaction with that too. It, you know, it's funny. So... So uh, I had to miss a fright night. I was a little bit nervous with that on top of everything else, the kind of the last minute everything. And uh, you guys are such blessings to me. We still ended up making our goal and we're not quite at the end of the month. So that's amazing. We had family and friends come in town literally from all over the world. Pac and his sister and his mom and dad came in from New York and odd mast flew in from London and we got to have him uh, staying at our house, you know, for the four days. And it was just so much fun. Uh, Donlet and Twilight are a special couple. Donlet uh, has had a rough life. You know, you guys know I've had a rough life and in turn my kids have in, in, in uh, various ways as well. And Twilight is, uh, he lost his mama years ago too. And, uh, it's, they're, they're really good together. They're really good together. And, you know, I teased him, you better be good to her. But I, I honestly do believe he will be and has been. Uh, they adore each other and they're just so cute together. Um, you know, at Thanksgiving, yeah, it was Thanksgiving. They come over to our house and they had already had Thanksgiving at, at his folks' house. And they came over and, and Twilight was really sick to his stomach. And so he wasn't feeling good. And he kind of got there and he looked kind of green and horrible. And he walked up at one point and Dom was standing in the doorway of my kitchen. And he put his arms around her from behind. And he had his head on her chin. And as he squeezed her around the waist, he just smiled and his whole face looked like like a four-year-old cherub at Christmas. Just so happy and content. And those little moments, those those special things are 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 really are really important to me, seeing their interactions. Um Dawn had told him that I was having trouble trouble with my computer and he got off work uh, a couple of weeks ago, you guys know, because those of you who are watching Fright Night, they, they tag teen and scared me to death all night. Um, he got off work at 10 o'clock and, uh, or like 9.30 and they were here at 10 o'clock. He wanted to say, you know, see what he could do, what he could help, what had I done. And the first thing he said was, hey, that's your mom's living. That's a problem. 
let's help. We got, we got to take care of that. She can't be without a computer. And, um, and, you know, Pat could talk to them too. And I know that they're going to be able to, as, as we do look at getting my computer replaced, um, you know, I know that I've got, you know, somebody who can help me assemble the dang thing or help me go through the, you know, the, the part process and all that stuff. Um, he's just a really, really sweet guy. He is. A lot of you have seen him around the stream. He likes to come around and give away his extra game codes where he's picked up a whole bunch of codes cheap and um, he's gotten the games that he wants and then he does giveaways. So uh, the other night it was every time honey dies a new game goes out and uh, you know you get a game and you get a game and and it's really sweet because each time he's always said you know we want to give back and we want to say thank you because you guys supporting honey and then as mom she gets to help you know do all the things that that affect them and support them. And so um, I just want to really, really say thank you guys for all of your support. I, I don't just mean making a donation amount each month, making my, my living each month. I mean in the encouragement and, um, you know, the Twitter interactions and seeing the pictures of everybody. So uh, I just want to say thank you for that. And the wedding itself was so beautiful. I want to tell you guys a little bit about the day. So we had our day before, you know, we had our, our little touristy time. We stopped at the Oz Museum on the way out to the train and we, you know, we met and, and had dinner at A&W, which was fun. And we went onto the train and by the time we got to the train, which they left unlocked for us to get onto, um, it was dark. And so we were rearranging in the dark and we were doing kind of dry run dress rehearsals in the dark. Um, and we did that two or three times and, um, and it, it all kind of came together. We learned a lot of things. Uh, there was tripping on a table that had to move for sure. And you know, just various things. And then by the time we all got back home to Topeka, it was, it was midnight. Well, Autumn wanted to go to Walmart, and the only time I could imagine it happening was right then. So everybody else went home. Uh, Midlit, Sky, Pack, Odd Mess, and I went to Walmart at midnight. And we didn't get home until like one. And we bought all sorts of things that Odd Mess hadn't got to try before, like like Hostess things and, and stuff like that, Pop-Tarts and things that he could try and he could have. And our justification was... You know, we'll have it for the YouTuber get together on Sunday or, well, you know, you haven't tasted this, so we must buy it. So between Pac and I, we bought so much junk, I swear, um, and I've already given away most of it. Um, so we had a great time, but we were really, so just to tell you, we were already really tired, okay? The next morning is the day of the wedding, and at 9.30, we were off, um, off for last minute pick up something at Walgreens. And uh, nails for the girls, little press on nails for the girls. And then we picked up Pack at his hotel and we were off and running for the day. 9.30 in the morning is when we started. We had to go, uh, we, we did, um, we did facial masks that morning and odd masks, uh, was a doll and let us uh, attack him. Um, so, you know, we just had, we just had a lot of fun. We just kind of started off, you know, just, just playing around, trying to make it a special day. And some of the girls got, and the girls kind of do their nails throughout the day. And, um, Sky and Nibby and a friend of Nibby is a friend of Sky's. Oh my goodness. And a friend of Dawn's were all of the bridesmaids. So there were three and plus Dawn. So all four of them are doing their nails. I was supposed to do mine too, but we never quite got to me. And I think Dawn's was done in the car on the way to, <laughs> on the way to, uh, the train. So we were, we were literally scrambling kind of all day from that moment on. We kind of started off really mellow and okay, we got plenty of time. We went to our hair appointment at noon and, uh, we did all, I had all of our hair done and and that was an experience, but it took three and a half hours. We were not prepared for it to take three and a half hours. So they did mine, they did Dawn's, and then I took her and Autumn Pack. We went and, and, and Midlet, we went over to the mall and I got her makeup done. <clears throat> and they were still getting their hair done. So we stopped at Chipotle's across the street. Autumn had never been there and 
Don had never been there, and Pac had never been there, and I'd only, I hadn't been there, Topeka when I'd been there once uh, in Kansas City, so we had Chipotle, and we took what we didn't eat over and we got refills on our drinks over. As we left, the girls were ready, so we picked them up across the street. Everybody kind of nommed. Pits up at my house to grab, um, to grab uh, chilled white, uh, chilled grape juice, white and red grape juice, and we're off. We are off. We are off the hour and 15 minute drive to the hotel in Abilene so that we could change into our dresses. Yeah. As we were driving, now we're already, it's late. We wanted to leave Topeka by three. The wedding is at six. We didn't leave Topeka until a little after four, like 4.15ish. And it took longer than an hour and 15 minutes to get there. <laughs> and we were literally driving. And all of a sudden, I looked down and I realized that my gas tank is hovering over empty. We have 30 more miles to get there. So I casually comment, <clears throat> mental note, in Abilene, buy gas. So for the next 10 miles, Oddmass and I were speculating on how quickly we could get roadside assistance on the side of the road. Everybody was already a little stressed that we were leaving so much later than we wanted. And, uh... I pulled in at Junction City, the very first exit at Junction City, and uh, got gas. Just four quick gallons. Just four quick gallons. Just, just put a little bit in the tank and let's go. Pay for it at the pump. Just boom, 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 go. Figured better a five-minute pit stop than stuck on the side of the road, right? I had visions of being stuck on the side of the road. Oh, my goodness, my blood pressure. So we're back on the road. We get to the hotel. It is 20 minutes to six. By the time we get to our rooms. I'd already paid for the room the night before. So I just had to stop in and grab my key. And go. The girls had already gone ahead. They were already starting to un unload the, the car. The men. We had their vests still. So the men were waiting for their vests. They had their, their goggles. And uh, and uh, Toilet had his top hat. And it was just like. Okay. Some of them were already. Um, Toilet was already at the train. So we're sequestered in the dining car. We were just frantic go in change so it was it was just so frantic so there was no let's touch up any makeup no my lip gloss from 9 30 that morning was long gone 10 o'clock that morning so, you know so we cause, yeah because I, I, I we all did our own makeup and they had dawn's makeup done as the bride and um it was it was so exciting and so nerve wracking and so scary. And it was just like, okay, let's go. And we were all corseting, tying each other up and quickly getting dressed and stripped midlet and got her dress and changed her diaper. And we actually pulled up to the train 12 minutes past six. And the train was about five minutes away from the hotel. The train people were walking up and down the aisles going, <clears throat> we have a train to run. We're going to be going if they're not here yet. Hello, it's the bride. You're not allowed to leave, right? Right? Um, anyway, so we got to make a lovely grand entrance because everybody was there. Thankfully, Twilight was sequestered away in the, uh, in the dining car. And so we made our way up there. And in the hubbub of, okay, okay, we're here. <sighs> Breathe, calm. Breathe, calm. Let's go. Walk across the street to get on the train. Guess what got left in the trunk? That lovely chilled white and red grape juice. Yeah. We didn't even realize that till we were down the road on the train. <laughs> so it was the only, and that was, that was the only bad thing that happened at the wedding. You know, so many things could have gone wrong. The only thing that actually went wrong was, you know, we were fashionably late. But, uh, but we got there and everybody lined up in the, in the caboose. All the girls lined up in the caboose and, uh, uh, but the photographer took a bunch of pictures, which, by the way, was was volunteer from a family as well. And she was fantastic. She was fantastic. So she took a bunch of pictures of us all back in the caboose out on the outside of the train. We talked to the conductor, um, the engineer. He, he coordinated with the other engineer. Um, and we went three miles down the road to stop over 
uh, river with this beautiful rusty bridge and that's where the ceremony was and it was like it, the longest ride ever um but we got there and it was getting really hot in that caboose so we were very much glad for the open door and some airflow and before you know it it was time oh uh, we wanted to practice with midlet um uh Mom in law and I practiced with Midlet, and, and we had um, some beautiful, like, cloth leaves in the basket. And she said, Okay, okay, now you're gonna reach in and you're gonna drop them. You okay? And she nodded and she reached in, she grabbed like half of them, bam, threw them down. I'm like, Okay, no more practice, no more practice. She gets it, she gets it. We were taking bets back there, okay, three or four steps before she's out of leaves. But no, when it actually came time, she did beautiful. She was just throwing down a pinch of leaves here and a pinch of leaves there. And it was perfect. It was perfect. So uh, I ended up singing. I sang uh, any song. And, uh, and it was beautiful. We stopped after the ceremony. We got everybody into the dining car, which is beautifully lit. And we served food. We got going again. And the cake waited until we got back to the Abilene station where it could be cut in front of everybody and somebody <clears throat> could be sent out to go get <clears throat> the chilled wine from the trunk that we never brought in, which was totally so cold. And, uh, and we served up and, and it was spectacular and it was beautiful and she was beautiful. And I have a little bit of, of footage. You've already seen some of the pictures, but I have a little bit of footage from the wedding that a friend of ours caught and, uh, and I will share that uh, after many, many, many requests with you now. So that's it. Twilight and Donald's wedding. Bye. Oh. Oh. I am a very nice day. I like a night in a forest. Like a mountain in springtime. I get struck walk in the rain. I get storm in the desert. I get sleep in the ocean. You feel my senses. Come fill me again. Come let me love you. Let me give myself to you. Let me drown in your laughter. Let me die in your arms. Let me lay down beside you. Let me always be with you. Come, let me love you. Come, love me. We're gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the joy